Homies and homets of the Seven Seas, welcome back to another Loki Games video. Now, I must state beforehand that this is more of a mature sort of video. It's something a little bit different that I'm thinking of doing. Mainly for my older sort of viewers, even though I don't think there is a way to actually forcefully stop young people of watching this. It's just like a warning, you know, just in case someone tries suing me for some shit. So, like I said, I'm bringing out a new series, which is a little bit different to what I normally do. And it's basically for me to, like, let out some frustration and shit. And it gives you a little bit of a laugh in the process. Kind of makes me feel like we're more connected, you know? Like we're sat in a pub just like chilling out and shit with a beer. Anyway, I'm calling this series of events The Life of Loki. <laughs> and it's basically me sat down telling you embarrassing shit that happens in my life, which is a lot. <laughs> and it just so happens the initials of Life of Loki spell out L-O-L. Yeah, thought about that for all of five minutes. Anyway, onto the first story I have for you, which actually happened two days ago. People that don't know that haven't followed me for long, I really injured my back at work. Didn't know what it was for about six months. Finally figured out it's um, one or two of my ribs has popped out of the actual spine itself. I went to my first physio treatment the other day. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> now people are going to think that these things are just made up because they sound stupid and ridiculous. But these happen to me all the time, these moments. It's fucking ridiculous. So anyway, first off, I had a two-day hangover from Saturday night. I was still hungover. I went there, still sweating out booze and shit, went in this hallway. I thought it was a doctor's surgery, so I went in there, I was like, why is there this weird grand hallway? It looked like someone would set up gym equipment and shit. I thought, this must just be how it is, really. Loads of curtains, loads of people behind curtains, grunting and making weird-ass noises. This guy who was, like, by far the biggest dude there, so I was shitting myself quite a bit. He was like, come in behind this curtain, I'll ask you a few questions. After asking me quite a few questions about my body and shit, he laid me down. He told me to take my top off and my shoes, and as I took my shoes off, realised I had an incredible Hulk sock on, and the other one was Iron Man. And he obviously noticed this, because it's me. And sort of went, huh, you're wearing odd socks there, mate. And then sort of saw that they were kids' socks, and there was this awkward moment where I sort of, like, tried hiding them under the bed. <laughs> and I just sort of went, huh, yeah, because I, I wasn't really in the mood to socialise that day, to be quite fair. I felt like shit. Laid me on the bed with my top off, started pushing around. I didn't realise how fucking violent these people were. He was digging his fingers in to where the rib had popped out, basically trying to push it back in in one go with his knuckles and shit, putting his whole, what looked like 220 pounds of weight onto his fucking knuckle onto my rib. I was there for a while, sort of, he was telling me to breathe in and out, and he was doing this weird CPR thing on my back. And then he started doing this thing where he grabbed his hands, put them on my spine, and he started twisting it as he was pushing it. Now, this kind of felt nice, because I hadn't had a massage in a while, so I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Then after a while, I noticed that the beer sweats were carrying on, and this little piece of, like, kitchen roll he'd put on the bed was just completely soaked in my sweat, which I only noticed when I moved a little bit and saw it all there, like my armpits had pissed themselves. So I was covering up. It was all right because I was sort of covering them up with my arms. He couldn't see it anyway. Then he told me to breathe in as deep as I could. Now, this is where I started thinking, I was, like, shitting myself a little bit. I was thinking, oh, no, what, what's he going to do? Thinking he'd obviously tell me if he was going to do something. Then he said, breathe out lightly. Keep breathing out, keep breathing out. As he was twisting, I was like, oh, this is all right. I'll probably hear a pop or something in a sec. All of a sudden, dude went fucking Incredible Hulk on my ass and just went as hard as he could. <laughs> Which made me jump, made the worst fucking sounding cracking and popping noises I've ever heard come out of my body. And in the process of doing this and him making me jump, I let out the biggest fucking fart ever. <laughs> Along with a grunt, like a noise I'd never made in my life. Sounded like I was getting shagged up the ass. Now, he obviously heard this fart, because who, who wouldn't? And the people that I could hear talking to other physiotherapists next to me in the, like, the other curtain rooms, they all stopped talking, so they must have heard this too, which is embarrassing as shit. Anyway, I'll continue with my story. So I sort of, like, leaned up a little bit, 
Because he stopped moving. I was like, oh, fuck, he heard that. I, I turned around and like sort of gave him a little look. And he sort of gave me the disgusted face, poorly covered up by the, oh, don't worry about it, everyone does it face. That people do to try and like counteract embarrassment on both parties. So then I sort of just went, because <laughs> what else do you say when you fart on someone's face? L continue. I, I lied back there and I thought, ah, that's all right. I'll just blank that out of my memory. He started continuing to push and not as bad as it was, just like light little pushes, you know. And then after, say, 10 or 15 seconds, there was a smell. The smell I could only describe as gone off cat food, <laughs> which was the fucking worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. It smelled nice in there. It smelled all like fucking festive. They had a little Christmas tree up and they must have had some incense candles or some shit to calm people down. And then there's an incredible smell of fucking dead animal breath continuing to seep out of my fucking pants. So I just tried, I put my head in the hole, I was like, I'm just gonna fucking completely ignore it. He could obviously smell it, like people do when you fart in public and everyone pretends that they can't smell it, yet they still move away from the area where it's done. So then, knowing this, he continued doing his shit, knowing this, and how fucking, you know when you're cringing so much, you sort of like try and, try your hardest to scrunch your face up to like stop the pain happening. Well doing that obviously caused me to fucking let out a few more cat food farts and made my armpits even worse because of my fucking anxiety and shit. I just sweat even more. <laughs> Which started leaking out from under my fucking armpits. At one point where he told me to sat up I felt beads of sweat dripping down my waist. Now this wasn't so bad but all I could think about was oh no when I get up he's gonna see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which made me sweat more because I was panicking about it. In the end, he told me to get up. I got up, didn't want to look at it because I thought if I don't look at it, he won't see it. So I was just sort of like, oh yeah, trying to maintain eye contact with him if he was trying to look past me while he was talking. In the end, he, before I left, he decided to fold up all this kitchen roll and obviously saw the big fucking sweat patches that had somehow turned a bit yellow now because <laughs> it had dried or some shit. But yeah, anyway, that was my day on Monday. It's a Monday, so I can see why it would be so bad. But, but I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you want me to continue this series, some more embarrassing stories that happened in the past or that have happened lately, click that like button to show me that you love me, basically, going back to these bad points in my life for your entertainment. So yeah, make sure to click that like button if you enjoy and you want me to continue this series. And make sure to follow me on all these stalker sites below. If you have a neat, 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 a little bit of shit about cat food farts. Peace out.